Welcome to part two of the Angel of the Lord. And what we've been expressing is, who is the Angel of the Lord? And we've been through Genesis and Exodus and looking at scriptures. And please find the part one. If not, I'll put the link in the in the search box, or not the search box, but the description that you make first adhere to part one of this study. As we go into part two of the Angel of the Lord, and pick up where we were. We were just at Exodus 23, 20. And Acts chapter 7, verse 45 in Hebrews 4, 8. And interesting to know that that has been changed in King James Bible. That that Jesus matches the Exodus 23, 20. That we find. So let's move on to Joshua. Joshua chapter 5. Verse 13, and if you do not have or have listened to part one of the angel of the Lord, you're not, you're going to be lost. You're going to be confused by the statements made. You need part one and you need part two. So Joshua 5, 13, and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, there stood a man over against him with a sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as a captain of the host of the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place where thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. So he's obeying. All right. Now, it's interesting. When we look at this, we see so many sim similarities. In Joshua 5, a man. Is that not like Jacob when he wrestled with a man? Coincidence? I uh, sure not. He has a sword. Is he ready to fight? Like Jacob wrestled with a man? Coincidence? I uh, sure not. Was not Ishmael a subject earlier of this study? Was he not described as a fighting man? Coincidence? I uh, sure not. Is he not a captain of the host of the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital a host of angels? Is he not in charge of all the angels? Have you read Hebrew? That he was made lower than angels, but now in Revelation he is seated with glory and honor, and all heaven praises him, the cherubim? Joshua fell down and worshipped him. That's a no-no for Jews. Jews do not worship men. Revelation 19.10, I'll read it to you. This is John. And I fell at his feet to worship him, the angel. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is sure prophecy. John said that angel said, worship God. If this man is not God and he receives the, the worship of Joshua, he's a devil. He's the unholy Pope that allows men to fall down and kiss his shoes or his rings or whatever they kiss. Because the angels twice in the book of Revelation told John, get up. Peter, in Acts chapter 10, when Cornelius falls, I said, get up! Give God the praise. Joshua has fallen down and has worshipped a man. And with the scripture, with scriptures that we've done through Genesis, Exodus, that man is God, that man is Jesus Christ, the angel of the Lord. So, and also you have a holy place here, as did Exodus 3, 5. Coincidence? Assure not. 
why have since opening our Bibles to Hosea 12, 3, Genesis 25, Genesis 28, need part one, please. Genesis 35, Genesis 32, Genesis 16, Genesis 18, Genesis 22, Genesis 31, Exodus 3, Hebrews 12, Acts 7, Exodus 23, Hebrews 4, Joshua 5. Why and more verses yet to come? Why does all these verses sew themselves together and have a perfect match about one being, the angel of the Lord? And there are people who say he is not Jesus Christ. He's not God because we've seen places where God showed up. There is God. And then the angel of the Lord showed up. God spoke. Then the angel of the Lord spoke. Scripture with Scripture. Only one verse of Scripture you could put that down. is Our God is a consuming fire. And that bush was not consumed. But Joshua takes a man. Jacob had a man. Joshua worships him. And no Jewish person is to worship and fall down before a man. In the time of Jesus, they would not even have coins that had the faces on those coins. They would have to redeem them for temple money. They are not to make images or idols, even though they did make them, but... Judges 6. Judges 6. It's interesting, isn't it? I hope. Judges 6. And you're not even going to seminary. You haven't even been in Bible college. And we're just opening the pages of a King James Bible. How more simple. Judges 6, 20. And the angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh. Take the flesh. Uh, I, my mind just went through. And the unleavened cakes. This is going to happen later. I thought we'd skip the verse. And lay them upon the rock and pour out broth. And he did so. And the angel of the Lord Notice the angel of God and the angel of the Lord. They're both the same. We saw Jacob show up with the angel of God. We've seen him with the angel of the Lord. They're both the same. Put forth the end of his staff that was in his hand and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes. And there rose up fire. Fire. Didn't we see that before? Fire. Out of the rock and consumed the flesh. There's a consuming there is a Hebrews, our God's a consuming fire. So we had to wait a little bit for that Hebrews verse 12 to come up. Consume the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. Uh, maybe like Acts chapter 1. Dis disappeared from the 11 disciples. Right where they were standing there. And an angel showed up. And interesting. So, the angel of the Lord, fire. Coincidence? Not sure or not. He departed, again, maybe as Acts 1. And if it's just an angel, why did Gideon fear his life? God just said, hey, you know what? You're, you're highly, uh, let's see what he said. Mighty man of valor, verse 12. God is not displeased with them. And yet Gideon feels the presence or is in the presence and not just an angel. He's in the presence of God. And have we not seen that in part one and in part two? So Judges 13. We're not going to read this whole chapter, but chapter 13, verse three. And the angel of the Lord, there he is, appeared unto a woman. Has that happened before? 
Yes, it has. And said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren. Have we not seen that before? Yes, we have. Sarah. Hagar and Sarah. I mean, Hagar wasn't barren, but he showed up unto Hagar. Later on, he showed up for Abraham to Sarah, who was barren. And bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Has that not a son? Come on, 50-50 chance. Why not a daughter? Because scripture was scripture. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly divine the word of truth. So here we go. Uh, let me read. So the angel of the Lord wonder. I wonder if there was a well nearby. In verse 3. I don't know. Again, bar barren like Sarah. Maybe it was a tent door. Verse 3. I don't know. Coincidence? I sure not. Talking about a son that had not been born. Hagar. Coincidence? I sure not. Verse 9. Uh, no, verse number, where is it? Oh, verse 4. Again, let's read verse 4. Now, therefore, beware, I pray thee, and drink no wine nor strong drink. Eat not anything unclean. He's, he's describing to this woman who's going to be pregnant what to do, what's going to happen, like he did Hagar. And then the woman, verse 6, came and told her husband, saying, A man of God. A man. Is that not Joshua? Is that not Jacob? A man? Very interesting. In verse 9, And God hearkened unto Manoah, and the angel of God, angel of God, was an angel of the Lord, verse 3. The angel of the Lord shows up to Manoah's wife, and he gives him this decree about this baby that's going to be born, about this baby in her womb, how she's to take care of prenatal this baby. She goes and tells her husband. Her husband says, Lord, God, can you send that angel back, the angel of the Lord? And he sends the angel of God. Have we not seen that they are one and the same? They're one and the same. So the angel of the Lord returns, as he did to Jacob many times, and as he done to Abraham, the second time the angel of the Lord appeared unto Abraham. Everybody keep telling you, pay attention, listen, be aware of what's going on. Coincidence? I sure not. 1313. 13. Here's a good 1313. 13. And the angel Lord said to Manasseh, of all that I said unto the woman, let her beware. So he speaks again. He shows up a second time. He illustrates and tells him again twice about this person. Twice the angel of the Lord spoke unto Abraham. Would we not have a verily, verily, I say unto, uh-oh, coincidence? Uh, sure not. Look at verse number 16. The angel of the Lord said to Manoah, though thou detain me, I will not eat of thy bread. Now, that's where I thought, that's what we read in Judges. Gideon was going to offer him an offering, and he, he goes up in that flame, remember? He doesn't eat. He, is, he will not and has not eaten Manoah's offering. Coincidence? Oh, sure not. So, verse 17. Uh, uh, Judges 13, 17. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, what is thy name? Have we not seen name? That when thy sayings come to pass, we may do thee honor. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why answerest thou thus after my name? Seeing it is secret, Genesis 32, 29. Jacob said, What's your name? There was no answer. Here they say, Well, what's your name? I can't tell you. It's secret. Why did he not, if, it's, if the angel of the Lord is God, why did he not say, I am that I am, as he professed to Moses? Why did he not say, Jehovah, as he possessed in the Old Testament? Why is that name secret? 
So he's not just an ordinary angel working on the aspects for God. And he's not God, even though Jesus Christ is God. He's not God because God would say, hey, I'm Jehovah. I'm almighty. I'm the great I am. I'm Yahweh. Or I mean, uh, Jehovah. I said that wrong. Forgive me. It's secret. Jacob said, what's your name? And he doesn't even answer him. So, coincidence? I uh, sure not. No answer given? Coincidence? I uh, sure not. And like Moses, oh, let's read on here. Chapter, where are we now? 17. 23. No, not 23. There was a fire. Uh, oh, verse 20. Verse 20, Judges 13. And for it came to pass when the flame, when the flame, when the flame, have we not seen fire, flame, went up toward heaven. Did not the angel of the Lord speak from heaven? From off the altar that the angel of the Lord ascend in the flame of the... Have we not seen that again? Over and over? Have we not seen him speak from heaven? Have we not seen him go up? Do we not see Jesus go up in Acts chapter 1? Coincidence? Sure not. Verse 22. And Manoah said his wife, We surely will die. I mean, we shall surely die because we have, get this, ready? Seen God. We have not seen. They recognize that angel as God, though it is Jesus Christ. People are seeing. Let's look at the New Testament. Matthew 120. Matthew 120. Matthew 1, verse 20. Joseph, the husband of Mary. Matthew 1, 20. This is the first time the angel of the Lord shows up in the New Testament. Well, while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. Hasn't that happened before? Saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her have we not seen a baby in pregnancy and women who are not born, not pregnant yet? Have we not seen that running thing? And she shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Have we not seen name? Have we not seen pre-named children? Is that not the running theme of the angel of the Lord? Matthew 2.13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee to Egypt, and be thou there unto I bring thee word, 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 obey my word. Don't we, haven't we seen that? That you're to obey his word? For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Matthew 28, 2. Matthew 28, 2. We've got some other verses we're going to look at, but after this one, I'll make a little remark. Matthew 28, 2. And behold, there was a great earthquake, and the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. From heaven? Wasn't there a voice from heaven? Didn't he go back to heaven? And came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Now, are we not assured by scriptures that this is Jesus Christ? So isn't it funny in Matthew, the first place they show up, Jesus Christ may be asleep. I don't know. Maybe being burp or eating, whatever, whatever Jesus Christ is doing. The angel of the Lord, Jesus Christ, shows up to Joseph in his sleep and says, hey, you got to get me out of here. He, right, he's not even born yet. The Holy Spirit has not, well, yeah, yeah. The Holy Spirit has conceived in Mary's womb. And from the womb, the angel of the Lord, Jesus Christ, shows up to Joseph and say, hey, listen, 
This is all on the up and up. This is all by God. Take her to be your wife. You're going to you're gonna have a son. You're going to prename him. And this all follows the scriptures. Jesus Christ has risen out of the tomb. And Jesus Christ, the angel of the Lord, comes down and kicks that rock away and sits on it. Like, yep, let's begin the show. Mary and the women should be coming pretty soon. And then Jesus shows up as thinking to be the gardener. Where would you get that one from? Luke chapter 2, verse 9. Luke chapter 2, verse 9. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. That's when Jesus Christ was born in the manger. Jesus Christ showed up as the angel of the Lord to the shepherds and said, Go find me over there in Bethlehem. That is also about a baby that was born. Is that not a running theme of the angel of the Lord? Acts 5.19. Acts 5.19. Interesting long study. Acts 5.19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said... Boy, he, he's opening prison doors for those people that preach his word. Ain't going to find my word. Get out there and preach, guys. All right? You, running thing? You want a running thing? Acts 12, 7. Acts 12, 7. Acts 12, 7. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are. It might be a little lengthy. This is one of the lengthier ones I've done. I mean, I've done series of, you know, messages on particular subjects, but this is one of my longer ones, and I apologize. But 12-7. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. Oh, he showed up in a prison again. Woo. And smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. Somebody's asleep again. You mean like Joseph? Like Jacob? Oh. Okay. Rise up quickly, his chains fell off. He's releasing them. You know what Jesus Christ did? The angel of the Lord, when he was born with Mary's womb and suffered and died on the cross and was buried and rose again, he set me free from my sins by believing and putting all full account in the merit of what he's done for me in my sins. Acts 12 23. Acts 12 23. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory. Oh, there's the angel of the Lord and there's God. And he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. Here's somebody not listening to God. Here's somebody taking their own glory and honor. And the angel of the Lord said, I'll give you a disease. I'll give you a stomach disease. How's that? You know? And we got a little bit of time here. Let's look at some other scriptures real quick. Uh, work our way backwards. Now I'm just going to read Zechariah 12, 8. In the day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, a mighty man. And the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. There's God. There's the angel of the Lord. They're apart. Zechariah 3, 6. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Zechariah 3, 5. I should have read 3 first. And said, let them set a fair monitor upon his head. So this is Joshua, the high priest. So they set a fire monitor, a fair monitor on his head and closed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. Here they're, 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 they're dressing Joshua, the high priest. No, and the angel of the Lord is standing there watching. Uh, Zechariah 3 1, and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. Zechariah 11 and 12, and they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees, said, We have walked to and through the earth. These are, these are, well, let's go to this one. We're going to go back. Let's see verse 10, uh, verse 9. All right, verse 9. Zechariah 1 9. Then said I, O my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be. 
And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom the Lord has sent to walk to and through the earth. And they answered, they, answered, Lord, they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and through the earth. Behold, all the earth sits still and at rest. So here are, here are beings that answer to the angel of the Lord. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got much. Let's pick up Psalms and we'll close. Psalm 34, 7. And the angel of the Lord had camped round about them that feared him and delivered them. So there's that angel again. And camping around the children of Israel, the 12 tribes, as we read in Exodus. Hebrews 35, 5. Let them be as chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Enemy, I'll be an enemy to their enemies. Exodus. And Psalm 35, 6, let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them again, the enemies, as we read in um, Exodus. And there's other verses. I'll just, let's see. I'm not going to read it, but 2 Samuel 24, 10. 1 Kings 19, 7. 2 Kings 1 3, 2 Kings 1 15, 2 Kings 19 35, 1 Chronicles 21 12, 1 Chronicles 21 15, 1 Chronicles 21 16, 1 Chronicles 21 18, and 1 Chronicles 21 30. Those are the places and those are the study that we find about the angel of the Lord. You're able to pass this on get this out to friends uh, get the word of god out get the truth out i give you all permission for the glory of god thank you